I think it was in my review of Big City Greens, I said that I give every show a chance by watching the first two episodes and if they fail to impress me, I'll just skip it. And you know, I intend to keep it this way, but I'd like to slightly update this rule. From now on, it doesn't have to strictly be two, because it can very well just be one, and Summer Camp Island is an example of this, because the first episode was... Ugh. So, someone once said to me that I have a beef with Slice of Life cartoons, and in all honesty, I can't really blame him for thinking that. Now granted, that's not really true, I do like a lot of Slice of Life shows, just check my mouth page. And even in the West, I like shows like Clarence, Harvey Beaks, and kind of Craig of the Creek in spite of the fact that I've yet to keep up with the show since I last reviewed it. So no, I don't have a problem with the genre, though to be fair, I admit there are pretty fair reasons for why someone would reach that conclusion, because if there's one thing my track record since the beginning of 2018 shows, is that I don't think of them very highly, and Summer Camp Island is one of them. Now, though I don't necessarily have a lot of broad issues that cover my distaste for slice of life cartoons in general, there is one thing I've noticed, especially with Cartoon Network's recent library, and it's this complete lack of effort in writing clever humor with actual life. Now look, I understand that slice of life shows aren't supposed to be comedies, and I don't even really want them to. But if you're going to include jokes, you better damn well make them funny. And I excuse them by saying that it's not the primary tone. It doesn't matter. Bad jokes are still bad jokes. And in Summer Camp Island, I feel like they're not even trying. And I don't mean that in like an exaggerative way, I'm being very literal. It really feels like the jokes featured here were only a result of them having to include a certain required number of jokes in order to cross that item from their checklist. Like, I don't get, like, is everyone okay with this? Is everyone okay with this combination of absurdist and laid back style of comedy writing that I'm assuming was inspired by Adventure Time? Then everyone copied it, made it worse than it already was, and now we've reached Summer Camp Island where it doesn't even give a fuck about trying to be funny. Like, I don't know if this was only a problem in the first episode and maybe later on they got on track, but remember, this is the first episode. You know, the one episode that's meant to serve as the first impression for literally everyone, so if you don't put enough effort here, you have to apologize me for being a little bit skeptical. Again, you don't have to include humor, but when you do, make sure it's funny. You know, earlier I was talking about Adventure Time, this show is very fantasy driven and well, I've seen enough fantasy fiction to the point where the idea of it being a fantasy isn't all that impressive to me. I now value the uniqueness and identity of the universe more than the fact that I guess pajamas, shark and a freaking moon can talk. I can say though that this show does have hints of uniqueness scattered around, given how it's taking place in a magical camp island that's meant to be secretive. And there's still more you can explore that will add to the identity of this universe it's taking place. Although I wonder if the pacing will get in the way again. I feel like Oscar's entire arc moved way too fast, like in a couple of seconds he listens to his parents hoping for him to get used to a new environment and now that leads to him experiencing growth in like a couple of seconds with zero time for him to reflect on his state of mind and not a lot of factors that contributed to his decision aside from a brief conversation he peaked. I feel like this is a result of the episode being 11 minutes long and if it were longer, the events would feel a little more natural. I might as well also talk about the animation. I remember the pilot for this show being released around late 2017 or early 2018 and at the time I kind of didn't give a shit and I didn't even bother watching it online, but ever since that pilot was released for months I kept hearing complaints from people telling that the art style looks weird and ugly. And after watching it myself, I'm actually not that bothered by it, although I will say that the pupils look needlessly large. They probably just try to make them look cute, but they don't look adorable, they just look weird and creepy. I'm also really not a fan of the cheek blushes, the only reason why I don't fully hate them is that at least they're not that visible, otherwise it would've completely creeped me out. Nevertheless, there is one character I would say has an ugly design, it's this fucking monstrosity. Like, she downright looks gross. Not to mention the cheek blushes have the same color as her hair so it stands out. Uh, like, her fucking eyebrows are so thick and the upper line has the same pattern as the end line of her hair which looks weird, gross and sinful. I've heard from a few sources that the show takes an interesting direction later on. I'm probably not going to continue watching this, but I guess if any of you are either interested in watching this or have seen it already, feel free to tell me how the show went. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye for now. I'm I'm fucking tired. <laughs>